What a stupid sport! What are they doing on this server? I'm not in Hermitcraft today. No, I'm I'm in the lands of Zenka. Um, Mr. Skunk Monkey, was it? He hired me to come here and to do some work, and I'm going to be doing his episode today. So <laughs> this is uh, this will be interesting. And uh, this is a raid farm here that he created based on a design by Ray's Works, and they put one over there. And a link to it will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. And yes, it's a beautiful farm but it has a few things that they wanted changed and added to it so the first thing that they hired me to do was turn an on off switch and that's what I put in here so if you flick this down here it extends that piston and starts with the observer a little redstone clock going and there we go simple on off switch and then if we come down here they wanted a dropper put in which is going to send all of the stuff that they get that you, oh, wow that raid farm really has a lot haha <laughs> so it's gonna send it down uh, apparently they have like a super massive automated storage system I don't, I don't know it, it's underground and uh, they want all of their stuff to be going down to it so we have to put in a, a drop tube a drop tube yes 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 so uh, we'll uh, we'll do that and we'll turn this thing on and we'll see how it works and I forgot to mention Skunk Monkey's making me wear his skin ah <laughs> so uncomfortable and also, I forgot to mention that they had to move the raid farm because it was spawning on pillagers underneath of it on the ground and not in the farm itself. Honestly, guys, I don't know where my brain is today. And that's it. The drop shoot is all done and dusted. We just have to finish up the comparator right there. We also need to put in the sorting system down there. We want to get rid of all the non-stackable items such as the Tomes of Undying, the axes, the crossbows, uh... I think that's it. I think they want everything else. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's let's head down to the bottom, get the sorting system all in, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll give it a run. All right. So here we have the water stream coming through here, and it is connected all the way up to the top. The drop chute is in, and right over here they asked me to put in the. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, okay, it's gone. Um. So right here is the sorting system, a little bit of a buffer here, and we have a double-sided sorter just so that it can run at double the speed, keeping out six different items, emeralds, redstone bottles, <laughs> evoker heads, pillager heads, and vindicator heads. Don't ask me why they want them, uh, but they're being sorted out into here, and if they don't get sorted into there, they're getting thrown into the trash. And then right here is an on-off switch to... Allow this thing to send it off into the storage system. I haven't quite finished up that part here. Let's just grab a little bit of stone and we can mark it off. Uh, this will, of course, will all get glass around it so that it doesn't have any losses. And that should be it all done. And then it runs all the way in over to here to their storage system. And all the way over here. Haha! <laughs> There we go. And this this storage system is absolutely bonkers. It is wow, there is so much going on here. There's there's so much going on here. Uh, oh, I should have added composters back there. Um apparently that's how they put them on top and I've got lag here. This is this is nuts. Uh but yes, this is it and uh I think that's about all they have for redstone for me today, but I've got a list here of some really really odd things that they want me to do. So uh, I guess I'll meet you outside, uh, yeah, um, on top of the tree. I think that's my next stop. So here we are at the top of the tree. This is, uh, I believe Skunk Monkey called it the mother tree. <laughs> um, and there's this thing growing here. I don't know what it is. Skunk Monkey just told me that he wanted me to show it to you guys and show you the size and the progress and take a little peek. I think he said there's a little crack in it. So look, there's something in there. Yes, there is. Uh, but I wasn't to touch it. I was not to touch it. He said he thinks it's almost done. Maybe next week they'd be able to crack it open and see what it is. But uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting nut. Um, so then we have dragon heads. Yes, that's the next thing he said, told me he wanted me to check on. And the competition is now over. These are the dragon heads. Unfortunately, someone called Hava 
was not able to get her purple dragon head because she's got a design done in 1.16. Uh, so let's, actually, let's, let's jump over into 1.16 and I'll show you that one. Hey guys, it's me, Skunk Monkey, and I decided to record this clip myself instead of having Mumbo do it. And this is the head that Hava designed, and unfortunately I won't be able to use it until 1.16, but this thing, this thing is gorgeous. I don't know how she did it, but wow, that looks amazing. I love the chain sitting there. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, well done, Hava. Well done. Uh, all right, I'm going to send it back to Lens of Zankar and Mumbo, and he's going to go over the rest of the dragon heads. All right, guys, we're back here in the Lens of Zankar, and this is a purple-headed dragon that Jalushko built. Uh, this is the only other purple one that was put into the competition. Uh, then we're going to move over to the Red Dragons. This is a Red Dragon here. This is done by, I believe... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then we have a Red Dragon here. This one is done by uh, Manga Mad. I love the smoke. Smoke is looking good. Uh, and this one, it's, it's, it's winking at me. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Uh, and then this red one here was done by Steampunk Miner. Uh, this one here is Hava's Red Dragon Head. And then let's move on. This is a Blue Dragon Head by Hava. A Blue Dragon Head by Steam. Um, and any other blues? Yes, blue one down here. This is a blue one by Jalushko. Moving on, this is a yellow one done by, I believe, Dream. And then a yellow one over here by Hava. And then a green one here by Hava. Very earthy looking, very earthy looking. And let's see, are there any other green ones? Yes, green one over here by Julushko. And let's see, so we did blue, yellow, red, uh, green, and purple. So that is all five colors. Yes, I wanted to mark off and make sure I did all five of them for Skunk Monkey. So that's it. That's, uh, that's quite amazing. And if you guys like any of these, please comment down below which ones you do like. Um... Whose build they are, and I believe this one is Dream Shizos. This one is Mangas. I believe this one is Tenros, Steams, and Havas. And then, yes, I believe I mentioned the names for all the rest of them. Yes, yes. Okay. So down in the comments, get down there and 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 tell Skunk Monkey what uh, which dragon heads you like the best. All right. Um, now I've got a really weird request that he made of me. So uh, we're gonna head over to what they call the shopping district here. And as we fly over the shopping district, I want to point out that is interesting. They have a very similar method of being above the nether that we do on Hermitcraft. And it works very well. I love how they have the carpet going in all these directions. And I believe it lets you know who's you're going to. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So Skunk Monkey told me that he wanted me to come to this building, take a bottle out of the chest, and then right click the cauldron. Was that what? It... Oh. Oh. Okay, um, well, we'll just go in here, and then I've got a very odd set of directions that I need to follow, so, uh, oh, we have, we have some bets here, okay, so let me, let me go through those directions, and, uh, alright, so first thing we need to do is get a lead, and we need to go get one of each type of rabbit out of a pen that's down here, okay. At the last moment, I remembered I needed to get an extra rabbit and name it Toast. So now we have all seven different types of rabbits here. What's the next thing on the list? I'm supposed to release the fox into here? What? What, what do they do on the server? Why, why are we releasing foxes into... Okay, I, I, I guess I'll do that. Um, okay. Here we go. Um, the lead. Uh, next, next is... On the list is capture the fox before it kills the last rabbit, okay? And then put the rabbit into the bunny retirement center. Oh my. Alright, um, off you go, fox. Go, go do your business. I don't really want to watch. Oh, this is horrible. Oddly enough, he seems to be making friends with them instead of killing them. Oh, never mind. Oh, that was, that was sad. Oh, okay, the last one, the last one died except for one. Oh, okay, let's get this fox belt back in here. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Tied up. 
There we go, there we go. All right. Uh, get in there. Oh. What a stupid sport. What are they doing on this server? Okay, uh, oh, bunny. Um, let's see. I was supposed to tell him which one won. This is the black bunny. Uh, all right. Let's, let's get you in here to your new home where you can enjoy your life with these other poor fortunate bunnies. All right. Stay in there, guys, and, and don't die. All right, um, on to the next thing. Before I go, I'm supposed to change this, which is the price of the buy-in for Betsy on this game, and I can make this whatever I want. Uh, Skunkly told me, uh, what, what should I name it? Or what should I, yeah, what should I name it? What should I make the payment? Um, well, I know they use gold for the currency on their server, but we use diamonds, so we're making one diamond block. There you go, Skunk Monkey. There is your price for the next week. And he also told me he wanted it on the white rabbit, the house. So, there, that's all done and dusted. Let's let's get out of this place. He did want me to check on his XP shop here and uh, derp repair shop. Why? Why would he name it that? That is so stupid. Derp repair shop. Um. And oh yes, he wanted me to tell you that he is now selling experience bottles here. This is 30 levels if you drink it. Apparently they have a data pack on that allows them to get that. And then I'm supposed to check and see if he's made any gold. <gasps> Wow, that's, that's, I guess it's a good bit of gold. I, I don't really know what their, what their going rate is on this server. Um, all right, and then I'm supposed to check the rest of his shops. His shops, he said, have this banner over top of them, and this one has nothing in it. This shop here, oh, looks like he's sold a lot of redstone and observers. I'll have to let him know about that. And three, go oh, wow, that's, that's. It's a bit of gold, yes. I, 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 like I said, I don't really know what, what the going rate is for gold around here, so uh, I, I guess that's good. I don't, I don't really know. This shop here has 24 gold ingots in it. This shop here has four gold blocks. Uh, so I just walked in here and the <laughs> most curious thing happened. <laughs> oh, that's, that's quite funny. And this little cute purple sheep we have one gold ingot and this one nothing this jungle irony shop has 35 gold ingots in it i think i think that's all of the shops that he told me he had and uh interesting builds here interesting builds very pretty some of them very pretty uh but i like it it's very nice very nice all right um back to the jungle base then so Skunk Monkey told me to check his mailbox just to see if he'd gotten anything. And he has a book here. Hello there, dear Zankarian. Beware of the puppet pranks. Enjoy. Bwahaha. Okay, I'll leave that there for Skunk Monkey. And then here is a book of compliments and appreciation. A sugar box. Let's, let's see what this is all about here. Ah, uh, this compliment appreciation book. What you need to do is write some words of praise to another Zankar. Okay, um, let's just stream. Um, there's... All right, um, Skunk, thanks for the invite to the server, the idea for my town, and for the free wool. Okay. Sounds interesting, and this is a shulker box full of cooked cod. Uh, interesting? I wonder if that's a compliment on here? So, I asked Skunk Monkey about the puppeteer, and he said that there is some shenanigans going on on the server, and I should... Check in to see if there's any weird armor stands. What? It's <laughs> like a flying squid. And it's got... Oh, it's got the block that was here. It does. Oh, that is so odd. <laughs> Just... Oh, there's another one over there. What is going on? It's another flying squid. And it's it's taking a piece of this build. Are there any more about? Indeed, there are... Here's another one taking a pot of this structure. Ha <laughs> ha, that's amazing. And there was one up there, and he's taking the eye of this cat statue thing, and... <laughs> that's amazing, it's just a little flying squid taking stuff away. And this is the last one that I could find, and it's taking a piece of chiseled stone away. I don't see... Is it from right here, maybe? And... <laughs> that is so amazing. I don't even know. Uh, I'll have to let Skunk Monkey know that <laughs> some of his blocks are missing and who is to blame. Uh, it's not me. It's not me, Skunk Monkey. Don't, 
don't don't blame me, please. Um, but I think I think that's about all that they asked me to do. Uh, let me just check the list, and I'll be right back. And that's it. I completed the list. I am done. That was a lot of fun, and <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit the like button, and uh, I'll see you next time. I'm back, guys, and I hope that was a blast. Uh, a little bit different than a normal episode, but I had a lot of fun planning it. And yeah, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, turn on those notifications. You can follow me on Twitter, join my Discord channel, and hope to see you guys in the next Lands of Zankar. Until next time.